Hi there. I want to say a few words today about becoming magnetic to the opposite sex through being true to yourself. And uh, this subject is quite dear to my heart because uh, I really do believe that we need to be true to ourselves in our lives and in our personal development work and to be really authentically real about our decisions and uh, about our own development and also about our relationships, particularly the types of relationships we really want to be in at the end of the day. So I want to just give you a few points today as far as becoming magnetic to the opposite sex and to everything in life through being true to ourselves and that is being true to who we truly are at the end of the day. And many of us have experienced relationships where we've somehow managed to be in relationships with people that really at the end of the day we didn't find compatible and uh, if we were honest sometimes that weren't really in line with who we are and sometimes it's taken that other person to make the decision to end that relationship in whatever manner for us to really have a wake-up call and sometimes we've had to come to that decision to end a relationship because we've had to have the wake up call ourselves and we've had to be honest with ourselves and say <clears throat> you know what we just weren't compatible in a number of ways for whatever reason and that can be really painful and difficult to have to deal with but sometimes it's part of our learning process sometimes it can be because the other person has made a wrong decision about us. So sometimes it could have been the right person, but we need to honour other people's wishes as well along the way. Uh, and so honouring ourselves and being true to ourselves is a really good key tool to have in our safe relationship arsenal. If we want to go on and to evolve and develop and to attract the types of relationships that really, really are in line with our core essence and who we are in our heart and our soul. So I wanted to speak just a little while today about that, about being true to you in our choices, in our relationship choices and how that actually helps us to magnetise to us, to attract to us those things and people that really are in line with who we are because we are coming in alignment with who we truly are. And in order to do that, sometimes we need to take some time out, we need to make the space in order to have the time and the space in order to look at who we are, come to know this person well, come to love this person intimately so that we know what we need truly and uh, we know the types of things and relationships that are good for us and that will enhance our life and our purpose, importantly. So, one of the keys is knowing who we are, coming to know this person on a deep level, on a soul level, and getting to that essence and that soul, and then realising that this person needs to have this love that we have for ourselves regardless of what other relationships are in our lives because our soul needs that support and it needs that love regardless and uh, we don't want to have to depend on other people coming along which is where we get fear coming in 
in order to fulfil those needs. We need to have those needs fulfilled anyway, and primarily those needs are met through our soul source connection and also through our own soul connection. And then we are able to magnetise those, those types of situations and relationships that are truly in line with our soul and who we are because we've become real and we've been reconnected within with our soul and therefore our frequencies and our vibration are at an authentic level if you will they're in alignment with our soul and who we truly are and uh, one of the ways that we need to be really honest with ourselves is to self-accept through self-love so that we feel free to be able to be truly honest and say this is what I need in a partner these are the needs that I have and to acknowledge that certain people and certain partners are not going to be able to meet those needs for whatever reason and to then be able to be available for those types of partners who are able to meet those needs and who we are able to be in relationship with and to contribute to their life as well. Because some people are unable to deal with an intimate relationship anyway, uh, for whatever reason, and that's not a judgment call, that's just part of life. Uh, when we understand some of these things, then it tends to put our, our relationship history into perspective. But now we have the opportunity to be very real and to be true to ourselves in our relationship choices so that we do not waste energy and a lot of time in relationships and situations that can be detrimental to us and definitely not in line with who we truly are. So um, one of the points that I've made here is when we go through this process is to release judgments towards ourselves as far as what we need because we can be very judgmental towards ourselves and uh, even find it difficult to admit that we need love and we need compassion and we need a partner who is going to be honest and faithful and there's no need for us to judge ourselves for that those are natural needs that we have um, and when we start to become true to ourselves in a self-loving manner and we do not judge ourselves for these needs it's often easier for the process to attract to us the types of partners that we are resonating on. So in other words, we're resonating those energies, those desires, so that the appropriate partner will be attracted to us and we will no longer be attracted to the types of situations that we know on some level are just not going to meet those needs and that we are not going to be able to contribute to because that other person just may not be able to uh, accept an intimate relationship. And so our essence, if you like, our soul has a frequency and when we deal with those frequencies and we are true to who we truly are so we're true to ourselves we're honest with ourselves we're living in an honest manner and we're being true to who we really are and that's regardless of anybody else's judgments of us or criticism or even those people who do not want us uh, in a relationship with them when we're true to ourselves and we have this self-love as a strong foundation, we're able then to be true 
in terms of what we really need in a partner rather than um, potentially going along with society's expectations of what we should need in a partner. Rather, we're being true to ourselves and we're saying, look, to be really honest with you, I need someone who is honest, faithful, compassionate and easy to get along with and who has the capabilities to be in an intimate relationship with a healthy partner. Those sorts of things are not things that we need to judge ourselves for. Rather, we're being authentically true to ourselves and we're operating from a place of integrity. And so when we get really real and uh, we're able to non-judgmentally be really true to ourselves, we're able then to clear out those energies that are no longer in line with our true self. And then we're more able to be able to attract authentically the types of partner that really is in line with who we are and who then, interestingly, will have the ability to love us for who we truly are because we're doing that in the first place as well. We're loving ourselves for who we truly are rather than uh, who we're not. So as always, take care, stay safe and very happy.